the importance of argument in STEM. As a member of the STEM community, you must be able to consider multiple hypotheses to explain a phenomenon. Scientific explanations are always open to re-evaluation by other scientists. The assumption that scientific ideas are not written in stone and that scientific ideas can be revised based on new information is one of the foundations of scientific inquiry. This is the way in which scientific knowledge is advanced. So, in a way, we can say that scientists argue to challenge each other's interpretations to arrive at a plausible explanation of natural phenomenon. Therefore, as a future STEM professional, it is important that you learn the skill of scientific argumentation. Scientific argumentation is not this. Scientific arguments are not based on opinions. Scientific arguments are made up of claim, evidence and reasoning. A scientific argument uses evidence to make a case for whether a scientific idea is accurate or inaccurate. Let us now look at the elements that make up an argument. Claim. It is an idea or conclusion that you have come up with based on evidence. In STEM, claims are not opinions or beliefs. A claim in STEM disciplines is a position or statement based on evidence that comes from empirical data. Empirical data is information acquired through experimentation and observation, or from scholarly texts. Evidence is information about the natural world that is used to support a claim. In scientific argumentation, evidence includes data such as observations and measurements. Reasoning is the process for making clear how your evidence supports your claim. In scientific argumentation, Clear reasoning includes using scientific ideas or principles to make logical connections to show how the evidence supports the claim. How do we structure an argument? Easy. You need to turn your topic into a question and then look for answers to your question from published literature. First you have your question. You then take a position and you convert the question into a claim. Then you need to add your reasoning why you think your claim is valid. And then that will produce a working claim that presents the main idea that you can then support with evidence. Remember that your question is based on the ideas or the evidence from your readings. It is called a working claim because both argument and claim will need adjusting along the way as you write and deepen your thinking on the topic. The central claim or the thesis is the main point that you are trying to put forward or prove based on evidence that you have collected. The central claim is supported by subclaims. Subclaims are reasons that support the central claim. All subclaims must answer these questions. How do we know that our central claim is true? Another element that you must consider is the counterclaim. The counterclaim is an alternate explanation to the central claim. When you address counterclaims, you demonstrate critical thinking and analysis. It shows the reader or the listener that you have considered all the evidence carefully and have come to a plausible conclusion. Let's look at an example to understand how this works. Here is our central claim. The integration of Indigenous knowledge and Western science enables sustainable natural resource management. You then have your first subclaim to support it. The wisdom of indigenous knowledge developed over thousands of years is based on sustainable interaction with nature in the interest of coexistence. Here is our second subclaim. While Western science has benefited society in many ways, its use has led to the destruction of the natural environment, for example, mismanagement of bushfires and use of DDT. You now have your counterclaim. There is a possibility that indigenous knowledge can be appropriated as a tool of Western science rather than a complementary approach to resource management. In the same way that you consider counterclaims to your central claim, you should consider alternate claims to your subclaims.